Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. And this week I'm just gonna quickly show you how to frame printables you get online. And specifically I'm gonna work with this one cause I just created this um, for my Etsy shop and for myself because I need some Thanksgiving decorations and I don't really have a lot around my house. So I just thought I would put something together, pop in a frame, just to feel a little bit of that Thanksgiving spirit in our house. The principles, and most often they're the same from other artists as well, but for me, I offer them on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper because that's usually what people can print at home and they don't have to take it anywhere um, to get it printed and they can just do it at home and it's nice and easy. So when you get this, you can just pop it into an eight and a half by 11 frame, print it out, pop it in there and you're good to go, you're done. But what if you have a frame like this one that is eight by 10? And I get these questions sometimes from people when they purchase it, they're like, how do I cut it down? How do I get it to fit in there? And all that kind of stuff. And it's super easy. So the first thing I do is on some of my um, art prints, if there's a lot of different options for colors and all that, and it's a pricier piece, I offer different sizes. So I'll offer it in a smaller size and a bigger size. So then you can just grab a piece of paper that is eight by 10. If you purchase like photo paper, um, you can just pop that into the printer and then choose the eight by 10 file to print. Or what I did here is I just grabbed my eight and a half by 11 file. And then on your print settings, when you go to print, I hit 80% scale. So it's scaled it down 80%. And you can experiment with that and how much you wanna scale it down, um, depending on your frame. You don't wanna scale up because um, all the artwork is um, optimized for eight and a half by 11, unless otherwise stated in the description. Um, but usually it's eight and a half by 11. So if you enlarge it, it'll just get pixelated and blurry and it won't look good. So this is the same thing, just 80% smaller. And what I'm gonna do now is just cut it smaller to fit this frame and it's super easy. So you just grab your frame, take out the glass part or this part, and then making sure so that you don't get too many fingerprints on the underside of your glass. You're just gonna place it right on top of your printout and center it, position it however you want it. Make sure it's kind of even on top and bottom and sides. And if you have an X-Acto blade at home or like a box cutter, um, you can just go ahead and cut it right there. Don't cut it on your um, table because it will ruin it. So um, I use this cutting mat, but if you don't have a cutting mat, you can just use like an old piece of cardboard or something thicker that won't cut through your table. So I'm just gonna position it right here. And if you don't have an X-Acto blade, cause a lot of people just don't have X-Acto blades laying around, you can do the same thing and then just grab a pencil and just lightly go around cause you won't see that pencil mark cause it'll be behind the frame. Um, just lightly trace the edges of your glass. And then when you lift it up, you can just use regular scissors to cut it out. So I'm just gonna use the blade since I already have it and I'm gonna do this with my sweater so I don't put a bunch of fingerprints on it. Make sure you don't cut yourself cause I've done that so many times. All right, all done. That's all you have to do. So the main thing is just setting your printer setting to print scaled down if you're using a smaller frame. So just pop the glass back into your frame, turn this around, fits nicely, and put the backing in. And then we are finished. We can just hang this on a wall, put it on our shelf, and we have a little bit of turkey spirit. And there's other printables in my shop, so you can choose from them. This one is actually on sale right now until 
the day after Thanksgiving, I believe. Um, but you can go check that out. The link is below in the description. So go check it out, grab it for yourself and have a great holiday guys. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you are notified when I get new videos up and join my newsletter because I do um, add a lot of free printables and stuff like that there. So if you're looking for any freebies, um, sign up for my newsletter and you will get access to the whole creative library full of free goodies just for you. All right, guys, see you next week.